The force of three pounds is required to hold a spring stretched 0.2 feet beyond its natural length. How much work in foot pounds is done in stretching the spring from its natural length to 0.6 feet beyond its natural length? We can determine the work using this def integral here, where if an object moves in a straight line by a continuous force, big F of X, then the work done by the force from X equals A to X equals B is given by this integral. But in this application, because we're dealing with a spring, to find the force function big F of X, we'll have to use Hooke's law first. Where Hooke's law is a principle of physics that states that the force F needed to stretch or compress a spring by some distance S is proportional to that distance, and therefore F is equal to K times S, where F is the force, K is the spring constant, and S is the distance the spring is stretched. So we'll first use Hooke's law to find the spring constant, which will then give us the force function. So using Hooke's law, F equals K times S, and the information given in the first sentence, where a force of three pounds is required to hold a spring stretched 0.2 feet beyond its natural length, we can find the spring constant K. Where the force is equal to three pounds, K is the unknown, the spring constant, and the length the spring is stretched is 0.2 feet. So we have three equals K times 0.2. So solving for K, we divide both sides by 0.2. Simplifying, we get k equals three divided by 0 0.2 is equal to 15. So now we know the force is equal to 15 times s, where s is the, where s is the length the spring is stretched. But looking at our notes, because we want the force function as a function of x, let's use the variable x instead of s. And therefore we can say big F of x equals 15x. And now we can set up the integral to determine the work. The work is equal to the integral. And now for limits integration, because the spring is stretched from its natural position to 0 0.6 feet, we integrate from zero to 0 0.6. The integrand function is big F of x, which is 15x. And we integrate with respect to x. So integrating, we'd have 15 times x squared divided by two, or 15 halves x squared. And now big F of B minus big F of A is going to be 15 halves times the quantity 0 0.6 squared minus zero squared. So we have 15 halves times, this simplifies to 0 0.6 squared, which equals 0 0.36. 15 halves times 0 0.36 equals 2.7. And this is work, and the units are foot pounds. So for this spring, it takes 2.7 foot-pounds to stretch the spring from its natural length to 0 0.6 feet beyond its natural length. I hope you found this helpful.